Everybody, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's a good way to start my day. I think I'm going to have a good day. So thank you. You know, I recommend starting your day with applause from a crowd. Uh, my name is Todd Barr. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of GitLab, and I'm really pleased that you're here. So thank you for joining us. A couple of little housekeeping things. One is the Wi-Fi information is on your lanyard. So if you need that, check that out. Um, you all signed a code of conduct, so I'd urge you to please just make this a conclusive and, uh, inclusive and welcoming environment for everyone around you. Um, and the last thing is your badge really is your ticket to everything today. So please make sure you have that on. I w I'm wearing mine because I'm wearing an orange one because I'm with GitLab. If you're wearing a purple one, you're a participant here. Um, and so if you need something, just find somebody with an orange one and they can help you get to where you need to go or answer a question. The last thing I will say is this floor has the best restrooms. So if you need these restroom, there's lots of them. Uh, out there we have a really interesting space called our introvert space if you need a little self time or there's also the really cool bathroom. So either one works, but this is the floor for that. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about kind of the venue here in a few minutes. Um, but we are really happy to be here in San Francisco. In fact, uh, we've done, this is our third GitLab commit in the last six months. And in many ways, San Francisco is a little like home for us. Um, so we're excited to start the year here. Um, we actually, well, the company didn't start in San Francisco. In its formative years, it was part of Y Combinator in 2015. And so San Francisco is sort of the, a home in some ways. The first one was actually not San Francisco. I think that's in Mountain View. That little house was kind of the first GitLab office, if you will. That was the GitLab mobile, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, and then this other photo is the first office, which was at 1233 Howard Street here in San Francisco. It was also the last office because what happened is Sid realized once he opened an office, the people stopped coming to the office and work kept, work kept getting done. And so, uh, you know, long story short, short, we are an all remote company of 1,100 plus people now in 60 plus countries. Sid's going to talk a little bit about that in the future. And you know, you might ask what this story has to do with GitLab commit. Um, it actually has a lot to do with the word commit and why we call it uh, GitLab commit. And so I want to go into that for a second. How many of you in the morning, you get up and you tell or you ask uh, uh, or you tell your spouse or your dog or Alexa, you say, I'm going to work. How many of you do that? in the mornings, and then you get into some sort of vehicle, drone, Uber, self-driving thing, uh, scooter, Allbirds, whatever it is, uh, and you locomote, you, tra you travel, and you go to this place called work, which is usually an office, um, which is an environment where you work. Um, at GitLab, as I mentioned, we don't do that, um, but we still say to our spouses we're going to work. Um, but it means something a little different. It's more like we're going to do something. You know, we have intention. Um, and that intention, really, uh, our work is sort of the mission that we're doing. And so we talk a lot about GitLab's mission. And GitLab's mission is <laughs> to keep Baby Yoda safe from the dark side. <laughs> Those eyes are just amazing. Uh, that's not really our mission, but I wanted to make, use this opportunity to see how big I could get Baby Yoda's eyes. Uh, our mission is everyone can contribute. And uh, again, Sid's going to talk about that a little bit more later, but the cool thing is everyone means everyone. And when you don't have the constraint of an office and you don't have a constraint of a commute, we can invite more people into that opportunity. So I'll give you an example. Our core team of contributors on our open source project who don't work for GitLab they're in our Slack, and they're in our Zoom, and they're in many of our meetings, and they're participating because we don't have this constraint of place that you know, allows us to, or that, that prevents us from having these people participate with us. And so everyone can really contribute, and this event is an example of that. Um, one of the reasons we call it commit, it's not a double meaning thing. Um, I tried to get our salesperson, our sales leader, to call our sales kickoff commit. He didn't want to do that. Um, but it's not really a double meaning here. It's actually just like commit and git. 
it's a small change. So my question to you is, as you're a participant today, what change can you commit? Um, maybe that's asking a question in a session. Maybe that's offering an idea or a new insight. Who can you meet today that you can work on developing a relationship with that's gonna help you or your company over the next year from a DevOps perspective or just from a personal perspective? What change, what small change can you commit today um, as being part of this, this, uh, this audience and this participation? So that's my challenge to you is to think about that. Um, that's what this day is about. So a little housekeeping and then we'll really get started with the show. Um, a thank you to our sponsors. So without our sponsors, this event wouldn't be possible. Um, our cloud sponsors, Stack Overflow, the CNCF, who we are big partners with, Tidelift, there's, there's so many partners that we do great work with, um, but these are the ones who really stepped up to make this event possible. You can visit with these folks on the first floor um, during our break, so I'd encourage you to do that and get to know what they do. Um, so thank you to our sponsors. Um, about our schedule today. So we're gonna have a set of keynotes this morning, then we're gonna do a morning break uh, where, the, where there will be coffee and you can meet with our sponsors and get to know each other. Then there will be mid-morning tracks, which I'll talk a little bit about before we uh, end the, the keynote session. A lunch with birds of a feather, and what we're asking you to do is just join up with the table um, and talk about that discussion. So there's multiple topics for that. Um, and then afternoon tracks, and then we will wrap up right here this afternoon um, for about 30 minutes, and then we'll have a happy hour. So uh, that's kind of the, the overview of the schedule. And uh, that's all I have to say now. Let's get on with it. I want to introduce our CEO, Sid Sibrandi. So Sid, come on up. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate it. Um, I'm Sid, uh, co-founder and CEO of GitLab, and I'm really excited to see you here today. Thank you so much for coming. Software is eating the world, and every company has to become a software company. But becoming a software company is really, really tough. The most important thing about becoming a software company is to compress your cycle time. Cycle time is the time between deciding to do something and having it out there, getting the feedback from users about what you made. The faster you can do that, the more you are a software company. And to get from a plan to something in the hands of users, you need to go through all your different DevOps tools. And that causes a lot of different handoffs and what GitLab is, GitLab is a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. So you have fewer handoffs, and you can compress your cycle time and become a software company. We're helping teams to deliver products faster. We're replacing DIY ops, best of breed solutions that are pieced together as a platform we're replacing it with a single application. And that makes it easier for teams to work together. If everything is in a single application, you don't have to wait on someone to tell you what the status is. You have access to the same system, the same visibility. And a, with better visibility, you get to streamline processes, and you get to remove bottlenecks. It's so important in a DevOps software process that the developers the operations people and the security people are all on the same page. And if you can do that, you can move faster. That's exactly the experience that Glimpse shared with us. With GitLab, they were able to simplify their tool chain, increase their velocity, and reduce their cycle time. We're also helping teams to become more efficient and effective. If, you, if everyone in your company is working the same way, it's easier to move between teams. If your tool chain is the source of, if, if GitLab is the source of truth where you're deploying from, it's easier to embrace different clouds, whether you need to embrace another cloud for financial reasons or because you need the functionality or because a customer wants to use it. If you don't depend on the cloud-specific features, but depend on GitLab, you have that freedom to deploy wherever you want to do so. 
we're helping our users become more productive, at which they reduce their pipeline run times by 50% by using GitLab. The last thing I want to mention in this theme is that you cannot focus on cycle time without also focusing on security and compliance. We've built GitLab to make it easier for the security people to participate in the DevOps process. We're giving them a home in the software development life cycle. And we help to improve the collaboration. The most important shift that's happening is shifting security left. And that means finding security problems very early. If you find them early, they're less expensive and less time consuming to solve. The earlier you solve things, the easier it is. Don't wait for all the work to get done and then review security. Do it throughout the process. And that's what how GitLab is helping people. At BI Worldwide, they were able to incorporate security in their process and to ship more and more quickly. I love hearing the stories from you, the success stories, the things that need improvement. And I'm glad you're here today. I'm really excited for the presentations that will come. I want to acknowledge some of the customers that are uh, on this slide that work with us today that are doing keynotes. I want to thank them for coming. Please join me in thanking them. And the great thing about this is that they're not just customers. We are a transparent company, and we invite you to participate. Your contributions are making a huge difference in the trajectory of GitLab. If we just look at code contributions, over 5,500 improvements in GitLab came from our users. Over 2,000 people contributed code to GitLab. And that's showing up every single month. We have over 35 new people who contribute code and over 200 improvements in GitLab that come from the wider community. And that's just looking at the code. Contributions are much more than code. As Todd said, you can contribute in many ways. I hope today you contribute by asking questions, by telling us what we can do better, and by getting to know people you didn't know before. We want everyone to contribute, and we're really thankful for your contributions. So thanks, everyone, who has contributed to GitLab. I'm really excited because next week on Wednesday, we'll have our 100th consecutive release. As usual, as they have always been, it will release on the 22nd of the month. And we're looking forward to it. Our last release, 12.6, had over 50 notable new features. And 12.7 will have similar numbers. It's always exciting to get something and to share it with you. And if you look at a longer time scale, those numbers are growing. We're improving GitLab every day, and our rate of improvement is growing exponentially. For next year, we're ordering an even bigger monitor to show what we're shipping in 2020. <laughs> but that velocity is nothing if it's not paired with security and stability. We're proud that. Over the last five years, we spent over a million dollars in HackerOne bounties to build the most secure platform. Over half of those bounties were awarded after we made our program public. And it means anyone in the world who's interested can look at GitLab, can find flaws, and reap the rewards for it. And we're really thankful for all the people who've used our security disclosure program to help make GitLab better. Later today, you'll hear from our product leadership about the vision for GitLab. I won't steal their thunder, but our vision is very ambitious. And we're really excited to try to deliver on that. But we need you to help participate in that. Because it's not just about shipping new functionality. The most important thing is take away any roadblocks that are in the existing functionality. We want to get all our categories to lovable. And to do that, every time you're annoyed at something, 
tell us, let us know, and even better, fix it and share it with the rest of the world. All that collaboration is based on our mission of everyone contributing. We want people to contribute to software. Software is eating the world, so contributing to software is one of the most powerful levers we can offer the world, and with GitLab, we're offering that. We also want people to contribute to GitLab, the product itself. And last, but certainly not least, we want people to contribute to GitLab, the company. We have our handbook public of over 3,000 pages with how we operate. And it's really exciting to see contributions coming in even to that. So contributions aren't just code, it's stories, it's responding, it's fixing a typo somewhere. I know that every time I make an improvement to the handbook, afterwards there are a few people that come on and fix my typos, some inside the company and some outside the company. And that's great because I'm, I'm not that good at that. Um, we had an engineer at GitLab who said, hey, I've been, I've been working, but I keep getting these instructions, and I cannot find this person on our team page. And we said, are you sure that's someone in our team? And it turned out it was just a customer who was really opinionated about the work they were doing. But because almost all of our work happens in the public, they were able to follow along and told them they totally misunderstood what they needed. And I think that is the key. If you're going to do, if you're going to build a complete DevOps platform, the only way to do that is to work together as an industry. No company can do that by itself. And that's what we're excited about. And that collaboration is based on our values. These are our values. And through transparency, we can have better collaboration. If we don't share what we do, you cannot contribute to it. And with efficiency and iteration, we enhance that feedback loop. The smaller the work we do, the easier it is for you to give feedback and for us to adjust our course. And last but not least, we're building a diverse and inclusive community. And we do that by valuing, above anything else, results. It's about where we're getting together. So that's how we operate, and that's the culture that will bring us there. And that culture is setting a great standard. GitLab ranked in the top 50 of Comparably's Best Company Culture Awards, but also in the top 50 for Best Places for Women to Work. We're really proud of that because that will help us keep growing and attract the best people. Last year, 2019, we more than doubled our headcount. We grew from 400 to 1,100 people. This year, 2020, will again more than double our headcount. And that's not a goal in and of itself. But that's, the goal is to make a better product. It allows us to ship more features, but in the end, it's not about shipping features. It's about you as our users shipping faster cycle times. It's about you doing more stable deploys. It's about you having a better security posture. So we're really excited for everything you're doing with GitLab, and we're not done yet. We're adding phenomenal people like Robin Schulman, our chief legal officer, who's in the audience today, and so we'll be walking around the whole day. So if you see here, please walk up to here. Uh, but we also added Karen Blazing as a new board member. And I'm really grateful we're able to attract great people. And that's not just because we have a great product, but also because we're challenging some norms. Todd mentioned us being an all remote company. With 1,100 people, we're probably the biggest all remote company in the world. And we're setting a standard that you don't need to be in the same room or on the same floor or on the same building to collaborate. With modern tools, you can collaborate very, very effectively. And you can give people time back. You can give them the, their commute time back to spend that in their personal life. But also, you can attract people wherever they are. I'm really excited that for the majority of people, they don't live in a large metro area. We have someone who joined GitLab who lives in New Zealand of any grid but the internet, her own power, her own water, her own sewage. But she's able to work at a very fast-growing Silicon Valley-style startup. 
And that's really exciting. It helps us attract amazing new team members in over 60 countries. And that's helping us grow as, as an organization. We now have over 800,000 licensed users, people who are paying for GitLab. And every year they're doubling down. Our net retention is 150%. People are doubling down as soon as they discover what GitLab can do. And because of open source, we have an outsized influence on the world. Over 100,000 organizations are using GitLab. I'm really proud today to have an announcement. Six months ago, I announced our Series E funding at the commit. Today, I can announce that next month, we'll cross $100 million in ARR. And I want to really thank our customers for believing in us and spending that money with us. Thank you very, very much. We're going to try to do a great job of spending that money wisely. The rate of growth has allowed us to invest and keep investing. And it's given us the possibility to build a more complete platform than anybody else. How we're going to do that, we have our plans, but we'd love to hear from you. Your successes, your challenges, and what we can do better. Later today, I'll be hosting office hours. All the spots were already taken during registration. Thanks for that. Thanks for being enthusiastic. I'll be at the happy hour, or maybe we'll meet at the next commit. There's a lot of GitLab people here. And I want to thank you for showing up today, taking time of your, out of your schedule, and being part of the GitLab community. And I'm looking forward to celebrating the next 100 GitLab releases with you. Thank you very much. So Sid, I'd like you to wait one moment, and we're going to have Brett from 451 come up, because we actually have an award that we're get, uh, able to announce today. So Brett, if you could uh, introduce that. Great. Thank you for, uh, uh, thanks for the great keynote. Um, so this is um, the 451 Firestarter. Uh, 451 Research is, one of, is a leading analyst firm that focuses on innovation and disruption. Uh, we created an award uh, to really focus on companies that have vision and innovation, but more importantly, that have the potential to disrupt markets more fundamentally. And so, um, you know, the analysts um, selected GitLab as one, of, as one of the fire starters that we wanted to award. And there were really three major reasons for, um, for GitLab. Uh, being nominated and being awarded this. Um, one is your transparency in, in your roadmap and in your planning, uh, both um, on the, um, in terms of being a core open source company as well as uh, for paid for um, innovations. The other is that you become a growing destination um, as a, um, to prevent uh, tool sprawl and to inject security, um, as you said, shifting left. So a much more, um, a much more holistic approach to security. And then, and then finally, we believe that you serve as a, um, as a great model for a modern um, open source um, software company that both contributes to the community as well as um, finds a way to monetize um, open source overall. So congratulations. Thank Thanks you very much. Work. Appreciate it. Thanks,